Hi, I'm Carl Willis, and uh, in this little demonstration, we're going to use a Wimshurst machine uh, to generate X rays. Uh, this is a very simple experiment and very entertaining, and uh, unfortunately, it's one that, for whatever reason, tends to get uh, not done in uh, school, but it's a great school experiment. Um, so anyway, here we have uh, a Wimshurst machine. It's an electrostatic generator uh, based on the uh, principle of electrostatic induction. The power comes from my hand. When I turn my hand, when I heard, turn this crank with my hand, the machine generates probably about 100,000 volts. We have this machine driving a uh, type of electron beam tube, a close relative of the Crookes tube, a modern reproduction of uh, sort of some of the classic physics demonstration tubes. We can observe the, uh, the green glow on the uh, screen in this tube caused by electrons striking it. As I keep turning this crank, I will bring a Geiger counter close to the tube. And we can easily see that when the tube is glowing and the current is flowing, the wind source is being cranked, the radiation is being detected. And if I stop the cranking, the tube dies down, the counts go away in the Geiger counter. And if I start the cranking up again, the counts go back up. You could consider how much radiation exactly is being produced here. But to do that, we have to use a different instrument besides the Geiger counter. We have to use an ion chamber. So I have now positioned an ion chamber near the discharge tube. Full scale on this current setting up here uh, represents one millirentgen per hour. That's a pretty small amount of radiation. So let's go ahead and give this machine a whirl. We see that immediately, immediately, that ion chamber jumps off scale. So we're going to come over here and turn it up to the three millirentgens per, per hour full scale. and wait for the uh, needle to come back down. Now we'll give the machine a crank. And again, we are blown off scale. So let's move up to the next scale. The next scale being 10 millirentgens per hour. Let's see what we do here. Wham! Off scale. Well, there's only one thing to do, and that's turn it up. Now we are on the 30 millirentgens per hour scale. Bang! Needle is again off scale. So what do we do? We turn it up. I'll put it on the 100 millirentgens, or one-tenth of a rentgen per hour. Wham! goes off scale easily. Let's put it on the 300 millirentgens per hour. 0.3 rentgens per hour is full scale. And I'm turning the machine again. And if I crank nice and hard, 
nice and quickly you can see that it's very easy to make the needle come off scale. So I'm cranking now. Now I've stopped cranking. Now I'm cranking again. And you can see the light. When the light stops, the needle swings back down to zero. Now let's try putting a piece of lead in front of this ion chamber while I'm cranking. So I've got here a piece of lead, metal. Let's just slip that right in front. You can still see the light from the electrons hitting the screen in the electron tube. But the needle on the ion chamber has gone all the way down to the bottom. Let's try it again. So now we've got an excess of 0.3 rentgens per hour. Let's put that lead in front of the ion chamber and it goes way down. No lead, high radiation. The lead stops the radiation. So I've demonstrated how you can uh, generate x-rays using very simple equipment, very low powered equipment, hand powered in fact. This is a Wimshurst machine pretty uh, common physics demonstration device that runs uh, on the power of your own hand connected to a cathode ray tube. Uh, this is a tube of Polish manufacturer used for physics demonstrations. It's a modern reproduction. And we see that with this very rudimentary equipment we're producing an easily detectable amount of radiation. Uh, not just detectable but we can measure it at more than a third of a Rentgen per hour. So thanks for watching and have fun.